Angela and this is my precious yarnery. Um, we have to go fast today. I've done four videos that have I've screwed up on every one of them and my battery is almost dead. So I'm going to try and get this one done and that's why I didn't move any furniture. Bella's still sleeping over there. She needs to rest. But I'm going to stand and do this one and hopefully I can get it done. Finished objects, well, this is the first one. This is just a little cloth that I made, washcloth that I made out of organic cotton. And it's just the blanket stitch and a single crochet all the way around for the border. Next I have, now I don't know if this is finished or not. Why don't you let me know in the comments below. This is the blanket I was doing. I got it done. I don't have any border on it. Let me see if I can maybe get it closer. It, the edges are really straight, but does it need a border, do you think? Or should I leave it? I didn't use pink. Um, it, there's a little boy's birthday coming up, so my husband thought, you know what? Don't put a border on it. Or, sorry, don't put pink on it. Put red on it. It's on one of the fire guys' kids. And all the kids, all the fire guys' kids, love red. I think it's because of the trucks. And so everything I do, if I do anything, I try to always have a little bit of red in it. Unless it's for like an infant baby, then I'll use the baby colors because I love the pastel colors. So let me, let me know below in the comments whether you think it should have a border. Now I know some people always think that a blanket's not done without having a border. See, we're ringing it here. I don't know, and I'm no expert. Let me know if you think it should have a border. I usually do put borders on kids and babies blankets. It just makes it look nicer or more, not nicer, because adult blankets I usually don't unless it's a different, it's a, depends on the stitch, but there's a lot of times I don't. So let me know. Now for the colors I used, I will show you. Um, now the first three I put when I made the video, I didn't get the numbers on there properly, so let's try this again. So this is Alara Red. So there was that one. And then we used Alara Neon Yellow. And then we used Alara Green. Hopefully the numbers are going. Because I don't think I can do another video without recharging everything. Um, Alara Turquoise. And then Alara Purple. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. That's what I had to show you today. Um, let me know. You know I'm going Friday to a yarn store in Listerol. Let me know if there's a certain kind of yarn you would like me to see if I can try and pick up so we can talk about it. Because, you know, mostly I have ice yarns and there's only so much I can talk about. I only mainly have acrylics. I have a few different kinds of um, cotton ones and a couple fancy ones, but nothing really. My favorite is the Puzzle Baby. And I will be talking about the Puzzle Baby in probably the, the next it's my favorite. The next video we will be talking about, and I'll show you. I do have a few colors in those, and I do have two finished objects in those, so I can show you what I did. Um, another thing, Lorena. See, this is the word. I kept calling it Alara. It's Lorena. Lorena, I wanted to talk about too today. That's what I was going to talk about. But then I realized, because um, I went on ice, and I looked up different, like the, because I knew there was a super fine and I wanted to make sure you guys had the information about super fine. Now the super fine is different than, I don't know if it feels different or anything, but I wanted to have the specs on it. I have Worsted Lorena and just Lorena. And they're com completely different. Like, they're, one's way softer. One's more like a kitchen one, but I use it for like dogs and that, um, and, and washcloths and face scrubs and that. I use it for that. Um, the 
plain Lorena is very soft and beautiful. But anyways, I found out there was actually more than just one other kind. There was actually three or four different kinds. So I want to go on there and um, pick up those, a, a couple more, so I can have some to show you and some to tell you what they're like. I mean, if they're going to call them all Loren, Le, yep, Lorena, you think they'd all be kind of the same, but they're not. So that's what I want to see and get uh, my opinion on it. Now, I am not affiliated with ice yarns at all. I just love them, and that's what I have, and that I have a lot of it. So that's why I want to talk about it. Some people just hasn't haven't got any. So I think my opinion might help. Uh, I hope. I'm no expert. We're winging it here. Remember? Winging it. So we're, I'm no expert, but I do want to tell you what I think. Um, you don't have to agree. This is my opinion, my opinion only. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's the video that I want to do, but I have to pick up a couple more. So I will be going on and getting some more. So, But then I thought I'll give you guys a chance to let me know if you want any to know anything about um, ice yarns, what, um, which ones you want to know about. And if I don't have it, then I can make it in the same order because the more you buy, the cheaper I find the shipping. So let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any yarns you want me to pick up or order through ice and I will see what I can do. And I just want to make a huge thank you for the people that are being so kind to me. I have a lot of anxiety and I was thinking about this for doing this for a while, a couple months, but I just thought, oh, I don't know if I can. But then I thought, I'm going to try and you guys have made me feel so welcome. Um, but just let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Am I talking about my family too much? Am I not getting in the right yarns? Am I not, you know, I do want to do tutorials, but I have to... I have to, I think, sit down and design something. I, I haven't done that in a long time. I have one blanket that I designed, but it's not, I don't know if these guys would even like it because, I mean, I did it years ago and I found out a long time ago, well, just this past year that I was doing it wrong and using the wrong size needles and using the wrong size yarns with the needles. And But anyways, um, let me know and I will see what if I can do better for you. I'm, I'm certainly... Just being kind, that's all I ask. I, 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 and you guys have been wonderful and kind and making me feel welcome. And I really appreciate that. And it's nice that I can actually talk about the yarns and not have someone stare off in space, like my husband does. But that's okay, because he's an enabler and I'll deal with it. Anyways, you guys have a good day and my battery's really dying, so I see you later, bye.